Welcome Primary 3 with you Ms. Heba Ahmed. We will take today part 1 from lesson 1 which is called planes. Do you remember the parts of the planes? Yes, the planes are consisted of many parts such as roots, stem, leaf, fruit and flower. But the main parts of the planes are roots, stem and leaves. Okay? Okay. The plants are living things or non-living things? Very good. The plants are living things. What is the meaning of that? They can eat, they can drink, they can grow. The plants drink what? They drink water. The plants eat what? The plant can eat? Yes. Do you feed your plant at home? No. Why? Why you cannot feed your plants? Because plants can make their own food. What is the meaning of that? Plants don't need anybody to feed them. They can make their own food by a process called photosynthesis process. Photosynthesis process. What is the meaning of photosynthesis process? Photosynthesis process meaning meaning cooking. When your mother entered the kitchen and start to make your food, your mother is cooking. And also the plants. When the plants make their own food, this, this process is called photosynthesis process. So photosynthesis process meaning what? Meaning cooking. When the plant is cooking, so the plant is making what? Photosensors process. So what is the meaning of photosensors process? It's a process by which plants can make their own food. Okay? What is the name of the food of the plant? It's called glucose. 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 So when the plant is cooking, that's called photosensors process. The food of the plant is called glucose. Glucose. Okay? So how can the plant make the photosynthesis process or how can the plant make its own food? It needs some things such, such as water, sunlight and carbon dioxide. Okay? How the plant get the water? What is this part of the plant? It's called roots. The roots absorb the water from the soil when you give the plants water you put the water on the soil why because the plants are the the plants contain the roots that absorb the water from the soil so the water enter to the plants through the roots and the leaves take uh, the leaves take carbon dioxide from the air the air around us contain many gases what gases one of these gases is called carbon dioxide the plant take the plants take carbon dioxide from the air through the leaves. And also the leaves take the sunlight from the sun. So plants take water by the roots and take carbon dioxide by the leaves and also take the sunlight by the leaves. When water and carbon dioxide and sunlight enter to the plant, the plant can make now its own food by the photosynthesis process. Okay, when the plant make photosynthesis process, it produce what? It produces the uh, glucose. Do you remember what is the glucose? It's the food of the plant. Okay, so the plant take carbon dioxide, water and sunlight to produce glucose and oxygen gas. The plant produce oxygen gas to the air and we take the oxygen gas to breathe. So the plant take the plants take carbon dioxide to make the photosynthesis process and produce oxygen from the photosynthesis process. Okay? They are opposite to the humans. The humans take oxygen from the air to breathe and produce carbon dioxide. But the plants take carbon dioxide and produce oxygen. So, the plants are opposite to the humans. Don't forget that the plants take carbon dioxide from the air and they give to the air or produce oxygen. Okay? Okay. Let's see this picture. There, he, there is here sunlight, carbon dioxide, 
and water so the plant may photosynthesis process to produce glucose which is the food of the plant and oxygen. Thank you for listening.